At its heart, my work has its roots in neo-expressionism. I use expressive marks, symbolism, and sometimes text to depict my subject. My inspiration for these recent works continues to explore aspects of death and time, describing our fears surrounding death and time, a need almost to constantly wonder if our journey has an end, a definitive end, or is there a question mark? I'm a big fan of um, Rothko, Basquiat, Cy Twombly. They're, they're big influences on my work. I love mark making. It's very primeval, I think. It goes back to painting on cave walls. It's an ancient expression and I love it. I love it. For me, it, it, it allows me to bring out what I'm trying to say. I can layer and push and push the subject in a way that n no other medium would allow me, in my opinion, to do. Painters would, um, uh, ancient cave painters would blow um, the pigment onto the uh, wall to, to make marks. They were depicting something, but that need to use pigment to talk about our world is ancient, it's thousands and thousands of years old and it's very powerful, it's very powerful. I can't tell you where that comes from but I think it's from antiquity. This piece shows us being watched over. Is there an unseen presence? Does an invisible network of intelligence exist somewhere to help us fulfil our destiny and learn the lessons we are here to learn for our soul to progress? So death, time and fear, uh, not necessarily in that order, um, they're all kind of grouped together so like a lot of people and a lot of artists and poets and writers will have talked about death because it's a scary prospect of being alive and um, aware of yourself and then gone poof, just it doesn't seem like it's physically possible. Maybe that's just something that's been built into us biologically so that we don't hang ourselves at the thought of, of, of no longer existing. In a past painting where I talked about time, I just, I literally used um, a, a, like a, a scribble, like a cloud, um, almost just an abstract scribble, um, which I loved because it isn't a thing, it isn't tangible, we can't put our hands on it, we can't feel it, we can't touch it, it's, it's an idea. The idea of you know a painting has a beginning when you start it and at some point an end so there's a journey there's a linear thing we, th we think of time as linear whereas it isn't it it's it's continuous Included in this group, however, is a politicised piece exploring man's almost unstoppable thirst for power at the likely expense of the human race and in particular the rise of neo-fascism and disaster capitalism.
we have food banks, we have more um, homeless people than we've ever had and it makes me extremely angry and the only way, the best way for me to express myself if I want to have a conversation is through painting. I'm not necessarily the most articulate orator. Would you agree that um, the image is, can be more powerful than the word? Yes, to a point, um, because you, you, you instantly come upon it, whereas with the words you have to read it. Um, so um, but the pen, brush, mightier than the sword and all that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, it is, it is, it, I think it's very powerful. Great, well, thank you very much, Shannon. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. The incredible thing about creativity, whether it's painting, poetry, writing, or music, is its ability to raise and transport us from the mundane to the extraordinary. It gives us hope, it inspires us, it opens the windows to our soul.